What an episode. Drama, drama, drama. Lucius is seen as Lucifer. Cookie has a new love interest, and Hakeem is out of there. It's time for After Empire with Carolina. And joining me today is the nationally known comedian Rudy Rush. He hosted uh, Showtime at the Apollo, yes, uh -huh. and he's been on the Chappelle Show, yeah. done some projects with Martin Lawrence, but here in Houston, he's a 93.7 The Beat. Yeah, see, you act like you didn't know my resume. You're I like, know like, your Tell resume. me what you did. Now you're laying uh, all this I, stuff. I did my research. <laughs> I'm I've on 93.7 The Beat here, and uh, yeah, I'm a nationally known comedian. I've been doing it for over 15 years now, so uh, I'm here in Houston, 93.7 The Beat, number one in the city, so yeah, we're doing it real mm -hmm. big. Yeah. So what time are you on? From 2 to 6, afternoons. All right, so, so yeah. that's where you're going next. <laughs> uh, yeah, in about a few minutes. After this, I'm going straight to work. <laughs> All right, so do you have any projects you're working on? Actually, you know what? November 8th, I'll be here at the Improv, the Rudy Rush Hour Comedy Series. It's actually really uh, great. It's uh, an idea I came up with uh, fusing some comedy with these Instagram stars together on stage and comics who don't get a chance to come to the Houston market and they're old friends of mine and you've seen them on Comedy Central and all these other shows but they get a chance to come here and we have a great time on Sunday night. Sunday Fun Day has a new meeting. Sunday Fun Day with Rudy Rush. Yeah, I love yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. November 8th. November yeah. 8th. Okay, yeah. that's coming up soon. Yes, yes, okay. yes. Well, you're also a really big Empire fan. Yes. What did you think about this last episode? So now, I'll tell you this. I'll start from the beginning. The first couple of episodes, some people kind of checked out a little bit because, you know, it was like last year. Start off slow, but now it's getting real interesting. The mm -hmm. storylines are changing. Some new people are being infused. Cookie's got potentially a new love interest. Right. Jamal's falling out of love because his boyfriend cheated on him. Right. Hakeem got snatched up at the end of the show. So uh, there's a lot of different things going on. The dynamic between uh, uh, Lucius and his oldest son, Andre, it's still this back and forth. So it's a, it's a really so good... So let, let's yeah. explore that because yeah. Andre had a really, really big episode. I feel like they were, they were very much pushing the scene, the... The theme of God and religion. It was the Andre him. episode. It, it was definitely, definitely the Andre yeah. episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I still don't know that dynamic between, because because Lucius decided well, he would take over. I or, think or I, he would allow. You know, Andre and I hate to, to say over. that I figured everything out, but comics are really smart. Oh my goodness! Here we go. So I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm thinking that uh, Lucius, with his issues with his mother, having the mental situation, and him seeing that in his own son is putting that barrier between them like, she tried to kill me. Now you're seeing it at the end of the show, like you can flip on me at any point. So that's probably why he's so hesitant to give him the empire because of his mental health issues. Right, yeah. right. Thank you, I'll be here all week. Oh my goodness, Thank what you. else have you figured out? <laughs> what else have you figured out? So I think that's pretty cool. And then like I said, you know, uh, the promoter that came into Cookie's uh, studio the other day, and actually they got to talking back and forth and he helped her apprehend the people that uh, either Lucius or his dirty uh, lawyer got thirsty. to come get, yeah, thirsty to get mm. those, uh, those tracks or whatever. Uh, but then they were like, you got a gun? Or you got a gun? They had something in right. common. They, they had, had that little, little look. Yeah, and in the preview you right see them there. kissing. So, hey. It's well, okay, so who do we think did that? Was it Thirsty or was it Lucius? Now, we had this discussion off camera, and I never thought about that. I always think, because Lucius is always up to something wrong, mm -hmm. and when you said, was it him or was it just Thirsty on his own? I think it may have been Thirsty on his own because of the confrontation he had with Andre, and Andre could have went back, and I think he did to say something to that effect. Mm -hmm. So, and Lucius didn't have any, like, I didn't do anything, so maybe it was Lucius. Right. Lucius or Thirsty? L Lucius. Oh, you think but I wouldn't put anything past Thirsty, though. That's true, and you can't put anything past Lucius because he's so evil. <laughs> he is so yeah, evil. Yeah, he is very evil. But you don't put nothing past a guy who's got, like, a, a dead body finder. Right. Who has that? Uh, <laughs> and put it in a car. I know, that was with crazy. With prosecutor. I'm surprised we didn't see the prosecutor this episode. No, no, no. No, but... I think it's thirsty. Since the beginning, I have said he is shady, shady, shady. Yeah. I think it's him doing it alone. It's going to turn out towards it. the end of the season that thirsty's going to be a little bit more thirsty than we think. Mm. Yeah. Yes. I mean, right, I, that's my line. Oh, right. my okay, goodness. Thank you. Thirstier than we think. <laughs> All right. So, um, Hakeem is gone. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so Hakeem. So, who's behind that? Now, I'm under the impression that, you know, you got to go back a little bit. Remember the gentleman who was the uh, the old record rep that Lucius was going after in the old episode? Because he has n he doesn't have too many adversaries. He killed the Chris Rock character in the first episode. Oh, right. So Frank Gather's the, the, gone. Whoever the, the guy was... Uh, 
played that by Judd bunky, Hirsch. That Bunky was uh, yeah, uh -huh. doing business with? Yeah, exactly. Ah, that you big, think he's coming? I think he might have something to do with it. But you never know with this with this storyline. You never know. Yeah, you never know. Yeah. There's some shady things happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah. Oh. And what about all the new characters? What do you think about everybody that's new? The, the girl group is getting together. Tiana is back. I love Tiana. I'm glad yeah, now she's Tiana there. went upstairs like the girl from Family Matters, and I thought she wasn't coming back down. <laughs> but she actually did. She came back down, and uh, she's actually playing a pivotal role in terms of, like, she seems like she has this real, real smooth relationship with uh with Hakeem now, yeah. and she accepts what he is, and she's helping him out with the girl group. Right. And the other girl, she was like, I'm not playing that. Mm -hmm. But I think that's going to turn into somewhat of a romance later on down the line, because I think she likes Hakeem. Yeah, because she was the first one to be like, uh, I ain't one of them girls, Hakeem. I'm out here. And that's only because Tiana put that in her head. Oh, that's true. Okay, you know so. She would act, but she, yeah. she, she looks You know how you women are. Homie. My girlfriend told me. So anyway. Oh, that's only how girls are. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, my bad. Women too. Oh, <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> what else was a standout on this episode? Um, so the flashback. We have to talk about the flashback. Yeah. Obviously, everyone on Twitter was saying Lucius is the devil. Lucius is Lucifer yeah. because of what he said. He said God doesn't exist. He said man up. It's not, it's not God. Mm -hmm. Don't think God, think me kind of thing. Yeah. And then what was that one line? He was like, you want me to go look at you get dumped into tap water? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is some tap water? And then he shows up at the church, yeah. and you see this flashback, and it's like he really is carrying some demons. Well, you know, and I hate to, to break it down like this, but everyone looks at Lucius because he's a character. He's such a powerful figure, on the, not only on the show, but just it's just written to be like he has no love here. He could cut this off and that off. But if you look back into his life, not to give it any excuse on why he acts the way he does, but he's been through a lot. So, you know, if your own mother can try to kill you, if this can happen in your life and you see the injustices of the world, you become this hard brick of a figure and maybe he does have a soft exterior inside that, that he wants his family to love all right I'm getting too sensitive maybe I'm talking about my family but <laughs> but there is some good in Lucius he does okay. love his family because if he didn't he wouldn't have taken care of those problems in the first episode because he would have just let him kill cookie and whoever else right uh, I can't wait to explore Lucius's character a lot more yeah. and really see what yeah. who Dwight is, right? Because yeah. that, that's who she refers to all the time. And just see what, what those demons are and will he ever release them. Yeah. So are you Team Lucius, Team Cookie, Team Hakeem? Whose team are you on? Wow, that's a good question. You know what? I actually like Lucius because sometimes he goes a little too far. But who doesn't? You know what I mean? Cookie, I like Cookie too. She's got a rough exterior and stuff like that. I like them both when they're together. Oh, when they're both yes. on each, you know, on yes. it together, it's a great thing to see. But when they're at each other's throats, I'm pretty much team Lucius. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's so, it for sorry, After Empire. Oh. <laughs> he, he's a woman hater. That's what I'm figuring out Oh, my out goodness. Mm-hmm. All right, that's it for After Empire. Check us out next week. And check out Rudy Rush on 93.7 The Beat. And, of course, on the comedy series you're starting up. That's right. November 8th is the Rudy Rush Hour comedy series. You can see me on Instagram, at Rudy Rush. Get all the information. Come hang out and have a good time. See you all yeah. next week.